So hi and welcome back to another video and this is another weight reduction video and you've guessed it, it's for the G502 here. Now I know a lot of you have been going crazy on my social media and YouTube and asking me to do a weight reduction for the G502. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a wired G502 which is down here. I'm going to do the lightning G502 because those two are the ones with the differences and I'm going to give away the spectrum here across two videos because I'm going to do a video for the lightning I'm going to do a video for the wired because otherwise we'll be here all day because these are going to take some time and I want to keep this in the 20 minute region. So we're doing the giveaway. It'll be after the second 502. The giveaway will be in the description for this one. It's going to run across both of those. And then after the 502 lightning is complete, you'll be able to well win the mouse. Yeah. So I'm excited for this. I bought some new things. We've got the Dremel, which we used on the 305 weight reduction. I've got some new files here to thin out some of the holes we're going to put in it. I've got some boring tools. I've got some ceramic Dremel tool bits that someone told me to buy. Can't remember what your name is, but thanks for that. It's a good tip. I've got some scales here. I've got the larger ones that are in gram increments. The ones that are up to 50 grams, which gives us a small increment. We've got a four gauge meter because we're going to push this thing across a pad and glide test it as well. So this is any difference in the performance of gliding when we lighten it. Should be because of weight reduction. We've got a hairdryer and we've got a ton of other stuff I'm probably going to have to use to get some weight out of this 502. So if you want to find all this information, it's on my beardedbob.com website. As you know, for all the reviews of the mice that I've been doing, I've got the MM710 now. And a lot of you have been asking for that. We've also got the Cape Town Ultralight here as well. Both in the way, and they'll be coming out soon on reviews and all the other tests that we always do, like the latency test. So all the links to everything will be in the description that we're going to use here tool-wise. I'll make sure you know what I've used so you can do it yourself. And I've added a new Bearded Bob mouse search on my Bearded Bob website. We're going to be able to search for mice that I've done on reviews and all my scores, statistics. You're going to have to narrow it down a lot more for what mice is good for you. So let's get on with it.
So that's it, that's the G502 weight reduction video. This has been a mammoth task. I do not recommend this to anybody whatsoever to be doing it to their own because this is some serious hard work here. The Logitech have held up to their name with how complicated this mouse is inside. You're also not gonna get much weight advantage by drilling the shell. I made a mistake on the rear of it if you saw. I ended up drilling through the rear rubber and I wasn't intending on the first pass here to drill it. But once I drilled the back, I had to carry on. And you'll see that the benefit here is probably around two or three grams on each bit of the shell. What you'll also see is that I, I took out the rubber on the sides as well and about two and a half grams per side. So, I mean, you can save some weight here. You could get it under 100 grams if you, if you drilled the shell and you took out the rubber and you still keep all the components inside so you can still use it as a mouse. It is very complicated. That scroll wheel is complicated. I also lost a lot of springs, if you saw. So be very careful when taking this apart. I nearly lost my finger in the process by trying to be a little bit clever and trying to draw the buttons on the sides. I'd definitely use some pliers next time or I might get advice to try and hold it because it wrecked my little finger, which is still killing me now. And that's two or three days later. That's how long it's taken me to edit this video. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit that like button because I need to really understand that you like this video because this was hard work, but especially for that light speed, which can be slightly different inside. I want to see it, but it's going to be hard work. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>